So a lot of people have had the chance to play Marvel Spider-Man 2 this past week, and I was fortunate to be one of those people. So first and foremost, full disclosure, obviously, thank you to PlayStation and Sony for flying me out to Los Angeles and paying for accommodations in order to be able to play the game. I want to be upfront with that information so that you guys are aware of it. Now, with that being said, the thing that I saw during my gameplay session that got me super duper excited was what we are going to be covering in today's video. I do want to first and foremost also give a spoiler alert just in case, because if you do not want to be spoiled on this element, I personally, as someone who has read a lot of Spider-Man comics, got absolutely giddy about what this could possibly mean for the story, what this could possibly mean for this game. And more importantly, even what it could possibly mean for the future of this Insomniac Spider-Man franchise. So now that you've been warned, let's dive on in. So most of the play session that we got to participate in from a storyline perspective really revolved around Peter trying to get the vial off of Craven's neck. Then once he's retrieved that, he's trying to convert it into a cure for the lizard. And he's trying to get the assistance of Miles in trying to capture the lizard and that's something that we've obviously seen in terms of actual gameplay we have seen that part of the playstation showcase trailer where we see both peter and miles trying to track down lizard they of course fail and at that point peter then says you know what i'm gonna do it myself and he sets off to track down the lizard which actually happens to lead you down into the sewers which then leads you into what looks like a pretty busy looking laboratory an oscorp laboratory at that with tons and tons of interesting documents and an incredibly cool Easter egg that we're gonna discuss in just one moment. I just wanna take a quick pause and mention that obviously I cannot show any footage of this particular sequence, not because I don't want to, but because that footage does not exist because as part of this play event, we weren't allowed to capture our own footage. So the only footage that I can share is the B-roll that Sony has provided us with, and then I'll just try to use images to communicate what I saw. But back to the topic at hand, back to the Oscorp lab. As soon as Peter enters, it becomes very obvious, first and foremost, that the symbiote most definitely arrived onto Earth in a comet or crashed onto Earth. There's lots of different imagery. There's lots of different scientific papers and just documents all around, laying around that seem to confirm just that. But then comes the incredible revelation, and that is the piece of the comet itself. We see that it is kind of encased in almost what the symbiote would typically be encased in, like the Venom movies, kind of like a tube sort of thingy. And as Peter tries to reach out to it, the symbiote literally sprawls away from his arm and goes towards the comet itself. Which, of course, first and foremost, kind of tries to do a little bit of storytelling in terms of the fact that the symbiote recognizes the comet and kind of like is accepting of it or at least familiar with it but then it happened the part that got me absolutely stoked and giddy was when i noticed that the actual comet itself had the red spiral on it now when i say that for those of you that are not familiar with the comic book side of things you might not know exactly what it means you might be lost but in the comics this is a concept that is kind of relatively new and was really introduced by someone called Donny Cates as part of his Venom run, which was very, very, very commercially successful and critically successful. And he really introduced essentially a symbiote invasion and did a storyline called Absolute Carnage, as well as introduced an absolutely incredibly cool and epic character known as Null, who is the god of all the symbiotes. Now, of course, as soon as I saw that sign, I immediately started thinking to myself like, my goodness, are they really going to go that big with this game? Could this mean that we will see some type of a symbiote infestation in this game as well? And then furthermore, it reminded me of that interview that Najee Jeter did at a Comic-Con panel where he said this. Do you get Venom too? You know, like, do you get the symbiote on you? Shh, they're everywhere. What? They're going to be everywhere. Oh. That's all I needed to know. I'm going to go back into line. I'm going to let, let someone else ask questions. There, they, they, they will be everywhere. Come on, what are you They're asking? everywhere. And that's exactly what happened during the absolute carnage and the infestation of the symbiote storyline. I was just completely blown away that that was actually included here. Of course, again, I'm aware of the fact that seeing this symbol does not in any way confirm that they're going to go 
the route of absolute carnage, that they're going to go the route of an infestation of symbiotes, nor that they would introduce null. The sheer implications of what this could possibly mean for the storyline of this game or the sequels of this title are just insane. Because if you don't know the character of Null, please look him up. He's an absolutely incredibly cool character. And if in some way, shape or form, at any point in time, we get to the point where Insomniac will be introducing Null into their universe, holy moly, we're in for a treat. And one other detail I did want to bring up is that as this comment is actually displayed to you during this particular cutscene, another really cool Easter egg that I spotted was that the actual project name for this particular project that Kurt Connors is working on in this abandoned laboratory down in the sewers is actually VNM252. And for those that don't know what that is, well, obviously the VNM part is kind of easy. That's an acronym for Venom, but... The 252 is a reference to Amazing Spider-Man 252, which by some people's accounts is the very first appearance of the symbiote suit. So it's not the first appearance of Venom because that actually happens in issue number 300 or 299 if you want to get really technical about it. But nevertheless, the point being is that that was something that was showcased as a cool Easter egg during this particular sequence as well. So there you go. This was the thing from a storyline perspective that I was most excited to share. Let me know what you guys think personally. Do you think that the spiral being present on this comment is going to have any sort of ramifications on the storyline at all? Or is this just simply Insomniac kind of doing a tip of the cap to an amazing run of comics most recently? Will this play any sort of factor going forward in their games? Let me know down in the comment section below. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye, everyone.